starting off here in a Shavasana position, laying down on your back, feet roughly around hip width apart to start off with, and palms in the hands can either rest on top of the belly or be down by the sides of the body. Focusing on that breath, as you close the eyes, make sure you've got no distractions around you here, so you can just focus on yourself as you breathe in, taking the inhale through the nose to come all the way down into the lower part of the belly. So the belly rises and swells on that inhale and on that exhale, allow that belly button to draw all the way down towards the lower part of your spine. Keep working on this breath all the way through your practice. Inhaling as you interlace the fingers, push the palms of the hands up and away. Make sure those shoulders aren't by the ears. And I'm just pointing and flexing my feet. I really feel that it's quite nice to move around the body a little bit before you get into your practice, nice and slowly starting off here. And circle around the ankles, going in one direction. And don't forget to go the other way. So keep the thighs firm. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels so that you're not rounding or arching the spine up off the earth. And when you're ready, slowly bring the knees, guide them in towards your center with your hands so the feet are up off the ground. Focus on that tailbone still, lengthening downwards towards the floor. So you want to avoid curling up into a little ball here. Now opening the arms out into a T shape, really anchor down through the shoulders so that you isolate the twist to all come from the spine and also the waist. And rocking the knees from side to side, just prepare. So on that exhale, dropping both knees down towards your right hand side, turning the head towards the left for a nice spinal twist. Try to stack the thighs on top of one another here. And breathe again through the belly. So you're just going to inhale, come back up towards the center, use that core, exhaling as the knees drift down towards the other side. Again, soften the shoulders, draw them down and away from the ears, getting that twist to come from the waist. This should feel really nice. You can even do these before bed. They feel great. And then slowly come back towards the center, nose up towards the knees for a quicker pass in here. And drop the head down, shoulders relaxed. Coming into happy baby. So the knees want to run down by the sides of the body. You can either grab onto the ankles or outer edges of the feet. Make sure your ego doesn't get in the way. So if you're still feeling a little bit tight in the hips, I suggest grabbing onto the ankles to start off with. And rocking from side to side. Massage that spine. Soothing those hips. Releasing into the inner groins here. Seeing if we can get the knees a little bit further down by the sides of the body to open up a bit more. And when you're ready, slowly coming up into a seated position. So walking the heels there in towards your center line. Knees drift out towards the side via the hips being hopefully nice and open. Roll the shoulders away from the ears a few times. Move around the neck as you sit up nice and tall here. Inhaling as you sweep both hands up overhead. And sitting up nice and tall, taking that twist. Right hand onto that left thigh, twisting towards the back. So really peel that left shoulder. If you've got a binding practice, you can wrap that left arm around the waist and hold on to that thigh. Let's see what happens. Again, working with the breath, the inhaling as you lift. Take the ribcage away from the hips. Twist towards the other side. So left hand onto that right knee. Keep pushing away on that exhale and then wrapping the arm around the waist. Little fingertips traveling over those thighs. See what wants to happen for today on this side. Inhaling as you lift all the way up and release. Come back towards the center. And take it over onto the other side when you're ready. So changing the legs, balancing out here through the hips. So I'm inhaling as I lift all the way up and that encourages me to forward fold down, hopefully with my spine nice and long. Keep both sit bones grounded, relax here through the head. So I'm inhaling, lifting up halfway, taking that drishti forwards and outwards, that gaze, and exhaling as I forward fold down. Hopefully this has lengthened my torso. So that as I'm coming into the forward fold, I don't want to be 
crunching and curling all the way up twisting to one side so walk the hands round you should stay relatively low for this one really twist on the exhale you should feel it particularly all down one side of the spine and of course when you're ready walking over the other way balancing out things here still ground into the sit bones on the exhale twist come back up towards the center when you're ready interlace the fingers ready to push the palms of the hands away drop the head down and round the spine release into the shoulder blades inhaling as you lift all the way up now lift the chest the chin the heart hug the front ribs inwards and slowly release so making your way onto all fours, shoulders above wrists, hips stacked above those knees. Just preparing for that cat and cow stretch. So you're going to inhale, round in the spine, tuck the head and the tailbone. And on that exhale, follow it by a cow stretch, pushing your sit bones towards the back. And again, rounding on the inhale, exhaling, coming into that cow stretch. And really take the breath. To where there's areas of tension so if you're like me you can carry a bit of tension in the shoulders really breathe into those areas trying to release and create a bit more space and just involving the legs now when you're ready right knee hugging in exhale take that leg towards the back leading there with the toes or the heel again drawing in exhaling extend and again, draw in, hug that knee in close. Exhale, reach those toes, firm the buttocks. And reaching forwards for sunbird with that left hand, you can either stay there or if you're practicing those binds. And also balance here today, coming into that twist. Take the heel away from the backside. Open up through that left shoulder. Stay with it. Keep hugging that core off the floor. And drop all the way down when you're ready. Other side. So you've got your left knee coming in towards you, waking up these hips. Extend that leg, travel it towards the back, look forwards. Inhaling, drawing in. Exhale, reach through those toes or the heel. And again, draw in. Exhaling out. Reach forwards, right arm for sunbird. And with control, coming into that twist, you can either keep the heel down there or play around with taking the heel a little bit higher in a way. Open up through that right shoulder, keep pushing away from the floor. Find a little spot that you can focus on. Good, stay with it. Nice, and release. So keep the fingertips spread because you're coming into downward facing dog. And as you inhale, you're lifting up onto the balls of the feet. Lift the buttocks up towards the sky. Careful the weight doesn't transfer into the hands when you're lifting up. Try to isolate it so it's just the hips lifting and the buttocks so that you really lengthen the spine. And I'm bending the knees here slightly and taking my chest towards my thighs. Though I'm hugging my front ribs inwards, still engaging that core but that navel drifting drawing in and up towards your heart center ease the heels down when you're ready lurking between the hands and stepping those feet forwards towards the head of your yoga mat so dropping all the way down into forward fold you can soften the knees the legs don't need to be locked straight if that doesn't feel comfortable for today by the way grabbing onto the legs now shoulders moving away from the ears elbows in alignment always with the body inhaling as you lift up halfway ardha uttanasana and exhaling deepening into that forward fold and again breathing in looking forwards with that drishti exhaling forward fold down bend through the knees roll up the spine coming up with the hands to circle into mountain pose